Meteorologist Caitlin Fisher with your afternoon update on Hurricane Florence. Still a Category 4 storm turning here in the Atlantic, about 500 miles to the east-southeast of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The latest update, we do have states of emergency in North Carolina, South Carolina, and now Georgia due to the fact that the track of this storm is forecast to be just slightly more southward than we've seen the past few days. It should make landfall early Friday morning near Wilmington, North Carolina, close to the South Carolina border. As we look towards the Thursday advisory, could reach wind speeds of 145 miles per hour, a strong Category 4 storm, but may weaken to a Category 3 once it does reach landfall. Models now in agreement that that storm will hit near the border, then track southward towards South Carolina before eventually weakening and moving inland. The rain still going to be a major issue with Hurricane Florence. One to two feet expected inland, upwards of two to to three feet expected along the North Carolina coastline. Some isolated areas could see more than 40 inches of rain if Florence does sit in one specific spot. Now, storm surge also an issue. Storm surge warnings along the Carolina coastline. Three to six feet possible in parts of Virginia. Nine to 13 feet in some of the Outer Banks areas in North Carolina. And more than seven to nine feet possible along the South Carolina coastline. How often do these major hurricanes make it to the Carolinas? Over the course of history, since we've been tracking storms in the late 1800s, two Category 4 storms have made it to the Carolina coast. Hazel in 1954 and Hugo in 1989. Category 3 storms are more common, although only seven since 1950 have made their landfall on the Carolina coast. Lots of major storms have made it to all along the coastline, but only these few were major category storms in the Carolinas. Now, here is Hurricane Florence still turning in the Atlantic, a very well-defined eye, and we will continue to update you as we get the latest information from the National Hurricane Center. For WHAS 11, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fitch. Yes.